Park Development, Canada has just passed Bill C-21, a comprehensive piece of legislation that aims to address key issues related to public safety and gun control. The bill, which has been the subject of intense debate and scrutiny, seeks to introduce new measures to regulate firearms and enhance public safety. Key provisions of Bill C-21, Firearm Buyback Program. One of the most notable aspects of the bill is the introduction of a nationwide firearm buyback program. This initiative aims to reduce the number of firearms in circulation by offering compensation to gun owners who voluntarily surrender their weapons. Mandatory license verification. Bill C-21 includes provisions to enhance the verification process for firearm licenses, with an emphasis on ensuring that individuals with licenses are qualified and responsible gun owners. Stricter regulations on firearm sales. The legislation introduces tighter restrictions on the sale of firearms, particularly in relation to certain types of weapons. This includes measures to prevent the sale of firearms designed for military use, increased penalties for gun trafficking, to combat the illegal trafficking of firearms. Bill C-21 proposes more severe penalties for those involved in the illegal trade of weapons. Controversies surrounding Bill C-21, despite its intentions to improve public safety. Bill C-21 has faced criticism and controversy from various quarters, including the Royal Canadian Mounted Police RCMP, and the public. Some of the key concerns raised include effectiveness of buyback program. Critics question the effectiveness of the firearm buyback program, expressing doubts about its ability to significantly reduce the number of firearms in circulation and prevent criminal activity. Impact on lie-biding gun owners. Some argue that the new regulations disproportionately affect law-abiding gun owners without necessarily addressing the root causes of gun violence. Concerns have been raised about the potential impact on responsible firearm enthusiasts and hunters. Resource allocation for enforcement. Skepticism surrounds whether the RCMP and other law enforcement agencies have adequate resources and tools to effectively enforce the new regulations outlined in Bill C-21. Balance between public safety and individual rights. The legislation's balance between enhancing public safety and respecting the rights of law-abiding citizens has been a central point of contention. Striking the right balance remains a challenge for legislators as Canada navigates the implementation of Bill C-21, ongoing discussions are expected to shape the future of gun control in the country, addressing concerns and ensuring that the legislation achieves its intended objectives.